Hey guys, okay, uh, got an update on Bama camera. Turn the stereo down a little more. Um, I think some of you have already seen this. It's uh, being published in uh, the local newspaper over there in Wetumpka, Alabama. Uh, this happened over a week ago. Uh, the information about it is just now getting out. Um, I was aware of it and uh, at Keith's request, uh, I did not say anything to anybody about it. Now, I did talk to a prosecutor here about it. Um, basically, what they did was about, what was it, like 20 days after after uh, Keith's arrest, they got a search warrant and went and searched his home. The warrant was for all electronic communications equipment. That's gonna be his laptop, his iPad, his cell phone, all that stuff. And I don't believe they got any of that because I don't think any of it was at the uh, at his residence at the time the warrant was served. Um, in talking to a local prosecutor here, we were discussing this this particular situation, and basically what he said to me was, you know, when I've got a bad case and uh, I have no case, uh, as an act of desperation, sometimes you know the police will go out with a warrant and search hoping to find something. If they get a laptop and we can find child pornography on it, we may not be able to go with the original charge, but now we have a charge we can go for. And uh, that particular PD, hell, I wouldn't trust them to plant something on that computer. Well, really, there's not too many PDs that I trust wouldn't plant something on, uh, on, a, on a device given the opportunity and uh, to cover for their own asses and their own officers. Um, interesting thing about this that uh, uh, isn't commonly known and not reported in the media, but uh, when they were running the warrant, the detective that ran the warrant for Wetumpka is the guy that you see in Keith's original video. Uh, he's the white guy, kind of chubby, uh, in a white shirt. Um, he made mention of me to Keith. Uh, it's really interesting. You know, he had a couple of nice little comments to Keith about me. Uh, <laughs> apparently, uh, the city of Wetumpka and the police department in particular do not appreciate me. Um, and don't think very highly of me for some strange reason. He had, uh, it's been expressed that they really, really do not like my subscribers. <laughs> Guys, that just makes me love you even more. That the police hate you really tells me that uh, we're making a difference. So anyhow, um, I'll post a link to the uh, newspaper article in the description uh, so that you guys can see the, the newspaper article. Uh, I guess that's it. Um, you know, uh, the numbers for that police department are public. And uh, if you have uh, an opinion about this situation, I'm pretty sure they would love to hear from you. Um, whether you call or not, that's up to you, but uh, you know, they publish those, those numbers so that the public can call them and express concerns about situations or you know, voice their opinion about things. That's what those numbers are for. I, I don't see the issue. Um, also, they've put their Facebook back up with Tom Capiti. Excuse me. What Tom Capiti has, um, they may be willing to uh, allow people now to voice their opinions there or review their their situation there. I don't know. You'll have to take that up with them. I I don't control their Facebook. Uh, they do, but uh, their phone system is up and their phone call their phone uh, phones will ring and. Uh, Again, their Facebook is up and it's open for comments the last time I looked. So, uh, you know, your First Amendment right is to seek redress from the government for your grievances. If you have a grievance with these people, you have a right to express that to them. Remember guys, if you do call or uh, post anything on their Facebook, be respectful. and. Uh, 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 no, no making threats and stupid stuff like that. That's not accountability. And that's, that's not what any of this is about. 
Um, I, I don't support violence against anybody, um, and uh, and I won't defend it. Okay, so do the right thing. And uh, you know, if I were the chief of police and somebody had an issue with something in my department, I would want to hear from the public. Um, it's disturbing that this chief of police doesn't, but that uh, that really just kind of shows how entrenched the corruption is in that department. You know, uh, it's just dumbfounded. I am absolutely dumbfounded. Yes, I'd like to speak to the detective that's handling the uh, Keith Golden issue. One moment. I'm sorry, the call was not answered. To transfer to a different extension, enter it now. To leave a message, press 1. To exit, press the star key. For assistance, press 0. Yes, this is Detective Reed with the Wetonka Police Department. I'm not at my desk at this time, but if you leave your name, number, and a brief message, I will give you a call back. Recording. Hi, Detective Reed. My name is David Warden. I'm from Houston, Texas, and I'm calling about the uh, Keith Golden issue. Um, I, I, I'm familiar with the fact that you guys have run a warrant out there, uh, and I just find that very disturbing. Um, the whole entire issue to me is very disturbing. Uh, that man is a, a veteran and a patriot, and uh, I'm saddened that uh, you folks are treating him the way that you are. I think that the uh, the chief there, uh, you know, you guys obviously made a mistake when you detained him and harassed him in front of the station. I get that. Uh, and, you, you know, to be angry with citizens because they called you uh, to express their concerns and then to use that as an excuse to, uh, to arrest him, that is just crazy to me. Uh, and, it's, and it's totally unacceptable behavior. But I understand you don't have a... a, a, a control over that. But I understand that when you ran the warrant that uh, you guys uh, uh, had some comments to, to make about me. Um, I, Keith doesn't control me. You know, I'm my own person, my own individual. And uh, if you have anything to say to me, you know, feel free to give me a call. Uh, you guys have my phone number. And, uh, and I'm sure you have the uh, Homeland Security Bulletin on me and all the other assorted crap that's out there. But, uh, you know, if you have something to say to me, call me. Say it to me. All right? Um, above and beyond that, uh, man, I'm looking forward to the outcome of this case. Um, I expect very probably that, uh, you know, you guys already look foolish. And uh, you're, by your own actions, look foolish. And uh, I, I'm fairly certain that uh, now that Keith has a good attorney, that you guys will be held accountable for your your deeds and uh, your retaliation and uh, I look forward to that I, uh, I hope he gets a really nice big civil judgment so again if you got something you want to say to me give me a call uh, above and beyond that watch for my videos <laughs>